Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori uh, and today I'm playing Minecraft as Reverend Jones on the Skyrealm server. Uh, it's been a long time since so I've recorded. I'm sorry about that. I needed to take a little hiatus. Um, but I'm back today and we've got a few things that I'd like to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and do a realm visit and we're going to visit... Uh, Lachlan G. Braun, if we can remember how to spell it. He left us some nice messages. Is that right? Okay. So this is Lachlan G. Braun's base. Alright, it goes way up there. There's his mob spawner. Nice one. That looks good. See what it says. Welcome to Lachlan G. Braun and King Creeper 7055 realm. Profit shops and shops are on the second floor. Okay, there's their chickens. Yes, of course. A little infinite water supply. All their different stuff. Their tree farm. And T. Jones Gaming, it says. Pistons don't push hoppers in chests. So, okay, so he's showing me, this must have been the person, well, somebody um, had let me know that in the comments, and so he's, I don't know if it was Lachlan, but he's showing, he's showing us that, so that's good, that's good to know, because I'm going to redo the one, we talked about that. Alright, let's go up to, what? What's down here? A little, little farm down here. Try not to fall off. I think this is as low as it goes. Okay, so here's the shop selling some some cobble, some iron, and whatnot. Whoa! Don't fall off now. All right, a nice, uh, nice cactus farm. Very good. Can't open that, of course. Here's his AFK pool. We'll keep going up. Rosie. I wonder who Rosie is. Rosie must be his dog. Oh, look, they have different colored collars. It's precious. Hello, dogs. And then. So this must be a work in progress. Or is this the top of the, let's see. Yeah, so uh, looks like they're still doing stuff up here. Look at the cloud layer. Okay, we're gonna drop down. Okay, very nice. Very nice chest, uh, very nice base. Lachlan, 15 profit per half stack, 5k profit for inventory. Whoa, no, 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 I don't want to. All right, well, that's a very nice base you got going on there. And then you can give them stuff, donate here if you want to. Give them some, some cooked pork chops. There you go. A little food for you, Lachlan. What I really want to do though today is I want to work on our iron golem spawner. Um, gosh, and we're going to have to clear out some space for it. So that might take a minute. So we're going to have to reorganize a little bit, I think. Okay, we've just been killing some zombies for uh, our tier 7 achievement, so I figured I might as well get. Get it on tape. I 
had a stack of like 20. Some of them died in a wall. At a certain point, they got stuck in the wall. Alright, making headway. It's not going to take as long as I thought if we can gather up a bunch like this. Not bad. 29. Or, yeah, 29 out of 120. So that is nearly. Um, nearly a third. Okay, let's kill some more stuff. My knight sword. Creepers, man. I don't want to mess with 20 creepers. I just want. Let's see if we can get them to pop. There we go. Did we get them all? Okay, good. That's gonna be like 20. Uh, skeletons to deal with. Mm. I mean, I can blow them up. You think? With some TNT? I got TNT. Where's my flint and steel? Did I lose it? Oh, it's... gonna blow all of our stuff up or not. <laughs> sure messed with those cows. Eight skeletons left. Not effective, an effective way to kill. Down to four. We're making headway. I just want zombies, though. I didn't sign up to kill a million skeletons. Okay, we 
got? Oh my gosh, there's more down there though. I think that's this 20 stack. Wonder if I could bait him out. Get him to come out and then I run in? That seems like a bad plan. Gosh, this seems like a plan that's gonna get me killed. I think this is a bad plan. There's 20 zombies. Nice. Oh my god, they're all free. How'd they all get free? Oh no, this is terrible. I don't know how they all got out. Alright, here we go. Thirty-two. Gosh, zombies for days. Let's get out of here. Watch out, pig. Whoo. Oh, they got me. That's terrible. Okay. Are they all still gonna be there? I just need my gear back. No. Let's see if there's anything left in here. There's little zombies. Do they count? Miniature zombie villager boys. Come on. Oh, he went right through the thing. Oh, that did not. I'm not going to get credit for that. I fell right off the edge. Mm -hmm. I better close this behind us. We want real villagers, though. We don't want those munchkins. Come on. Is that it? 35? The next thing we are going to do in this episode is we're going to build an iron golem spawner. Because if you recall, uh, Cheetah 04 gave us a nice iron golem spawner. Um, actually, I need to double check that. There it is. So, and it's going to go in here. So here's where we're going to build it. I laid out the footprint. It's going to be like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine by twelve, and it's going to be like twelve tall. So I had to carve out above it. Um, unfortunately, we it cut into our potato farm, so I think that we're done with the potato farm for now. We might might rebuild it somewhere else. We'll see. So for this uh, automated iron golem farm, we're going to need twenty-eight hoppers. We're going to need twenty-one total chests. That's twelve regular chests and twelve trap chests. Um, because I couldn't figure out, remember how I couldn't figure out how to get my chests to be right next to each other? Well, you can't put regular chests next to each other, but you can put a regular chest right next to a trap chest. Somebody, um, one of the viewers told me that in the comments, which is awesome. Um, f uh, 14 signs, 7 lava, 7 water, we got 56 glass panes and an iron golem spawner. And I think if I did my math right, that's everything we need. The one thing that we haven't, um, I haven't shown you how to build before, like we've built all of these things except for trap chests. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show you how to build a trapped chest real quick. So first you start with a regular chest, which is just like that, eight blocks in a row. And then you grab an iron, if I rec remember correctly, sticks and a block of wood, and that makes the tripwire hook. So iron, stick, block of wood. 
And then to make a trap chest, you just do the trip wire hook with the chest and you get a trap chest. Boom. So now you see we have a trap chest, which is uh, awesome. Okay, let's put everything away. And we'll get all of our stuff that we've got crafted out of here. Chests are only going to be seven wide, but the total build is going to be nine uh, or twelve. Yeah, nine. Okay, there we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, now we can attach hoppers to these. series of chests down. And that is our collection system right there. That is going to collect all of our iron and what else? Poppies. Okay. Now let's cobble here. We're going to use primarily cobble to build this thing. Okay, and then we're going to put our first row of signs along here so that we can put the lava above that. so we can get up and down. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put lava on this next layer. We could probably actually put our glass in right now to start our glass. more glass. I can't afford to do that too many times though. Let's just leave it open for now. Maybe we should wait to put our lava in as well. Because our lava is going to go right along there. particularly. Seven buckets of lava. Probably work with fewer than that. Okay, I messed up somehow. Did not place them all perfectly, but fortunately we have more lava. Took a little trip to the nether earlier, don't you know? Whoa, come back, where to go? set up for this.
There we go. So we got our lava going. Let's get our next layer going. Wait, wait, wait. Because what we want the the iron golems are three tall right so we're gonna have their legs and chests here and their heads are gonna be in that lava and they're so they're gonna be burning up okay we'll find our center point one two three four We want three blocks on each side of the spawner, three open blocks and one open block above it, and that should allow enough room for the iron golems to spawn. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so it's going to be like five tall so we need to go four up four more than this It needs to be how far up? It needs to be at least three up. We need to put water in too. Hmm. I don't know the best way to go about this. Three. Okay, so it needs to be on top of here. They're already, it's already happening. <laughs> all right, all right, I gotta go back through here and put some water in. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, did I? Oh, I, I blew it. I forgot to put the signs in. There's supposed to be signs. Right. They're all in the way now. Signs right, like right there. Oh, I have a bunch of buckets and I have to go get more lava. Oh, the lava's still there. Okay, good. I don't have to get more lava. Yay! I'm pretty glad that I don't have to get more lava. Because I didn't want to go have to go back to the nether right now. We got that sealed off, so I'll have to go and just go in and break those bricks. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, buddy. Are you gonna fight me now? I didn't mean to hit you. It was an accident, I swear. Okay, one, two, three, four. Doggone it, I put those signs in the wrong spot. Oh, I'm terrible at this. We're getting it figured out, though. Sorry, buddy. Does that need to be wider? Because they are not falling into that. I think I have to make that pit too wide. Huh. So they're not, <laughs> they're not falling in the lava. I don't know, I have to go in and put signs on both. Put signs across there. And I need another set of hoppers. I thought I had it all figured out, but you know, I rarely get everything perfect the first time. So let's get our hoppers first. Might as well make it nice and symmetrical. Okay, so how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more hoppers. Seven more hoppers. signs in. That's what I thought he was blocking. The, I can put that cobbling because that guy was in the way. Oh, I really want this to work. I thought I had it figured out perfectly. Okay, now. Okay, they're dying now. Seven. 
Oh no, I'm putting the signs in the wrong spot. That was the problem. Or at least part of it. I have to put them one further forward. Alright, I can learn. So you can tell me in the comments, did, does this the pit actually need to be too wide like that? I don't, I'm not sure that it does. You can tell me in the comments. for that spawner man that's awesome you totally made this video possible all right so you get the gist of it you should be able to build it <laughs> easier than me and have fewer problems because I feel like I don't need the two thickness of a lot of it you let me know let's look in these chests okay the cobble doesn't belong that was just for generating iron and poppies look at that there's an extra sign it's all happening. And they generate them so fast. We're gonna be rich. We are gonna be rich. So there's just one in there right now. Um, I can build it taller and stack more on top of that one. I can build it wider and put them to the sides. Can't really build deeper yet. This is as deep as I can go right now, but eventually I'll expand my base. Man, that is so cool. Okay, well thanks for joining me everybody. Once again I apologize for taking a little hiatus, but I think I needed a little bit of a break. Um gosh, my skin still doesn't look right, does it? Let's get in front of it. I'm gonna have to fix my skin. Probably maybe before the next episode. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. And uh, I did get some feedback. There were some people that's like, hey, where's your videos? So, I'll keep making them. Um, I just took a little bit of a break. So, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And anymore, the thing they say, everyone's saying is click the notifications. So down um, right below the video is a little bell icon. Um, and click on that, and that way you'll receive notifications. And then when I put out a new video, um, you'll be notified that the video has come out. So you can be, you know, first person to watch it or whatever. All right. Let's watch another one go down. There he goes. I want a whole burst of them. Anyway, until next time, take it easy.